Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds DLC where I forgot to exit out of this conversation at the end of the last episode so I'll just do that now. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Someone has to keep Araya safe. Their settlements are not very big. Except for that one, the Song's Edge. The rest of them are just more of a collection of temporary like tents. Blink, my eyes will free shut. Oh, this is I the wish apprentice. You luck on the mountain. This is the apprentice. Oh, what are you doing, Eloy? This is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and. Perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways, but... No, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. <laughs> That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it, and so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. Sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. <sighs> and my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him. Worried for him. I was gonna say, she better include her brother in that list, and she did, so. We good. <laughs> what did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Bundok has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. Mm -hmm. Oh, He's good. Right. What have I ever given him but struggle? I'm sure he doesn't mean it in a mean way. You're siblings. That's how siblings talk to each other sometimes. What are we going to find up there, Rhea? Ruins. Machines. And a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. This Aloy doesn't know what a cauldron is. The spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. Well, actually, this Aloy probably does know what a cauldron is. Just I don't think she's been in one. Okay. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. This does seem kind of end game ish then. Okay. I'll try to get back to the other stuff at the end of this. Just a few more side quests I want to do. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother! Okay.
I too can call upon the power of the old ones. She activated. Yeah, Aloy's like, ooh. Like, I don't know how to explain it to you. Interesting. The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind. Fortress. It does. Like it does look like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells in machines. Well, let's just hope that some remains here. So she basically activated a smoke alarm uh, by putting fire in through a vent, <laughs> and then op it opened the doors. Tall as manure's cliffs. I still don't like it. This is fascinating. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So remember, this was like a facility, at least the part that we saw, was a facility that was dedicated in some way to basically facilitate the generation of an AI. Once or these halls rang with spirits presence. Oh, oh, look. trying to be delicate Here, about the whole situation. Up and over. Well. Hmm? Let me in. Up and over, he says. Um... Oh. Maybe. She just levitated up here. Um I see I see a thing. <laughs> Joshua, the return of director Emeritus, decent hollow title, Gina, no bad title, and worse subject the camera crew would die of boredom. Whatever Gina is still the most excitement this hell cave seen in a long time. Your standards for exciting are depressingly low. Uh, I'll squeeze out what I can of this. Thanks. You always were a little sweet on Kenny. What? No way. His ears are enormous. Besides, he was too busy mooning over Anita. I want to know what he's doing here in the first place. It's not normal. He helped engineer the most advanced geothermal facility in history, then rolled off into the sunset. Now he wants to check up on his masterwork. Seems normal to me. But why now? He keeps poking around the cooling facility and asking questions about cyan. Do you think there's something wrong? Last I checked, there's been no deviation in any of our greetings since the most recent microquake swarm. Maybe Kenny likes taking field trips on Pharaoh's dime. Oh ho! It's been 14 years. They would have frozen those accounts by now. Has it been that long? Man, I'm old. Not old, just boring. Okay, so but Anita, so Kenny can't see Anita anymore for some reason, and it's been three years since he's been there. And this is connected to Ted Farrell, which of course it is. Every major technological thing was was, but Anita is. I wonder why Kenny and Anita can't see each other right now, or maybe it's that Anita doesn't want to see Kenny. Drama, drama. Okay, you lead me. You're like, go this way, and I'm like, I don't freaking know. Oh, is there... Like, a? Uh... I'm restless. The echoes mock me. Truly. 
this game, okay, this isn't like the other game where you can knock ladders down. I don't think you can do that in this one. Go up and over, he says. I don't freaking... I can't reach these stairs. Well, time to already have to look up a walkthrough. Cool beans. Go around the red block. Oh, and there will be a ladder. Okay. And I already got this audio log. Oh, oh, I was like, now what? Okay, that's apparently what's what. Oh, jeez. Can I just do the, do I not? I don't have the drop down kill. <laughs> Dang it. I was gonna try to be stealthy about this, but apparently not. Come on. Oh, oh good. I was like, I don't think I, I should have 100% bought things. I did not. I'm doomed. I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna save my resources. I have, actually, the forge fire. Got loads of those. Excellent. Oh, I did get it. Oh, I did get it, but cool. I thought it would be like a fancy color, but it was not. Oh, also, I think. Oh, I almost missed this. That kiss. Oh my gosh, they kissed. They were roommates. Must have been sometime in the spring of 2047, about six months after the main facility opened. We were behind on schedule. A new incident data indicated that an incident was close, maybe only weeks away. I was exhausted, losing weight, barely speaking, except to give orders. I passed by Anita in the battery depot. She looked at me and frowned, then pulled me into this room and kissed me. A long kiss, the best kind. I can still remember the feel of her hand on the back of my neck. After she looked at me and smiled, I went back to work without saying a word. I'll never forget that moment, her touch, her unspoken generosity. After she left the project, I spent years beating myself up for not keeping her somehow. Every time I ran into her at a conference, I felt thrilled and lost and confused all at the same time, always hoping we might have a few drinks and, well, rekindle. It was only after I saw her on stage in a hollow and 58, accepting the Mind Challenge Award in Austin with Elizabeth Sobek presenting no less glowing and happy and fulfilled that it dawned on me that I hadn't done anything wrong at all. I could finally see that she had what she wanted and it simply wasn't me. Well, they... I mean, at one point she was saying that they were a thing. Like, one of the one of the text files says that she hoped the security guy didn't find out about her and Kenny. Pretty sure. So maybe she just wasn't expressing it very well. Or she liked him, but didn't, you know, didn't want to spend the rest of her life with him. Wanted... 
I mean, I could see you could you should be able to do like you know to like be with to be with the person you love and also fulfill your dreams. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Yes, this way. So she had to make the choice, or maybe she didn't even have to make the choice. He just never really he made. It sounds like he never really put himself forward as a as a decent option either, and you know, as an aside to her what she wanted or. An Not alternative. much farther now. Like, you know, working with her or, you know, doing something new. Oh, boy. Last Got we some were big here, boys. We fought our way through there. The machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. And so, go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. All right, I get the options. And I'll follow my lead. We look like Steve. Avengers. Steve, Frost. What was all this for? Well, those are like power generators, and this is the stuff to keep them cool, maybe? So, this was a geothermal place, but it was also. Uh, some sort of. Like, this had to work I in went tandem. This way years ago, for cover. With the AI place. I'm wondering if I can do anything with the pipes and the steam. Say, uh, did, did I say that? I don't remember if I said it or not, but I was really hoping there aren't any stalkers. Alas. Shh. And I don't have any tear. Well, I don't see the. Oh, there's something. Oh, is that a stalker? That is a stalker. And it's visible. gonna get out of this Chill stuff. I'm out of room 
for the Got too much already. Sparker, excellent. At least we're not gonna run into him. Let me look over the deepest winter here. That's because this is a cool it. As if there's chill water running through those massive pipes. Why? Why not? It is also a geothermal, I mean, it's a geothermal facility. They had to have some sort of temperature control. We're trying to keep an eye out for <laughs> any <laughs> trade for Blue Gwyn. Why, we say, sometimes she says that every now and then. Something about Blue Gwyn, and I'm like, of mines. Ooh. No stalkers in the air. Like, I get it. We tripped a mine. Mm -hmm. Brace yourself. Come get me. I try to do something. I hate these things. Lord, I endured every cold there is. This frost. These are so haphazard. Technically, I can't suspend the cooling system, but I can reduce the power draw so that it'll be completely masked by the caldera. But masked from what? The firebreak has always been confidential for security reasons, but this would be excessive. From the horde. Even before the deer departed, Mr. Blevins. What could possibly have gotten Anita so worked up? The horde, maybe Anita. Oh, because she was she was at a thing that was like uh, being I don't know led or whatever by Elizabeth Sobek. So perhaps perhaps Anita's work allowed her to be. Oh my gosh, was Anita? Should I remember that name? Is she one of the alphas? And I've just forgotten her name. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that would be crazy. Onto the tower then before we freeze to our spears. Uh-huh. Um, but, and that's why she's worried about this particular facility, is because she knows about the Horde, and, well, at this point, the Horde wouldn't be a thing, I think. Oh, I can't keep track of the dates. I know that, from what I've learned in the main game, too, at least a little bit, there was something in one of the character profiles that indicated that this stuff was going on pretty well before the Horde you swarm and all that stuff. There's an entrance to the tower ahead. Um, but I wonder, it must, it must be something, because like the power being noticeable by the swarm is, is a big bad thing, and it would cause them to come in here and try to destroy it, you know, so. And the people in it. So I could see wanting to keep it secret from them. Should have brought a cart. Oh, geez. I just wanted to know what was over here. It looks like it's just a way down. Is this wow. A projector? Maybe to show holograms with oh, focus. Oh, look. Let's see if I can restore power. Aratak, Araya, you might see shapes drawn from light. Don't be alarmed. It'll take more than light to alarm me. Okay, I admit it. I watched the hollow of the toast six times straight, taking in every detail. I need a smile, the way she could go to her own jokes. My clumsy hand off to Siam. 
Every time it played, for a second I felt like I was there again with her among friends, savoring our success with diminishing returns, of course. By the sixth time, I was just staring at Anita and feeling really creepy about it. But I can't be forgiven, can't I? It was the best night of my life. Besides, I'm entitled to a little nostalgia. We saved the world from fire and death, or at least suffocation by ash. There's that, right? Okay, so they made this facility to potentially prevent the um, Yellowstone geysers explosion that's supposed to, like, you know, take out the western half of the U.S. and put so much ash in the sky that it's basically just the dinosaur extinction event all over again. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George. And I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director, Penny Chow. So, here's to you, Penny. You put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. <laughs> glasses, everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. <sighs> Oh All right, my Zion. gosh. What's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption. <laughs> it was the spirit. The old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aria. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked. As for the spirit, I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. Oh, how convenient. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to call this one here at this suspenseful moment. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to specifically Reese Calito, my sapling tier patron, thank you so much, and Christopher, my tree tier patron, thank you so much for all your support, so thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.